All right, Janelle here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I made a video outside in nature about the plants that are in nature. It's a beautiful morning. Sun is coming through the clouds. It's gonna be a bright sunny day. And uh, we came to a spot where there are a ton of black raspberry bushes and um, they're just about all to, you can put them in the bowl. Go ahead, put them in the bowl. Oh, do you wanna show me? Okay, here we go, black raspberries. They're about to all turn black. There are a lot of red ones, but we are finding some beautiful darkened ones. And uh, I wanna to talk to you about the leaves of this plant and how it can be used uh, for medicine and for tea and other ways, spiritual ways. So welcome to my channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave a comment. Check out my description down below. My first link is my link tree, which links to everything that is me. And that includes my newsletter, my home herbalist course that I offer, my books on Amazon, and links to other things that I recommend. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you this plant. Okay, so black raspberry, and I will put the, um, you know, I'm using a common name. I'm going to have the scientific name here when um, in type. Okay, so like the red raspberry, red raspberries have a like the wineberry, I'm calling red raspberry, have a red stem. And um, the blackberry have this darker green. Sometimes it's purple. But the, the bushes that are here, they're more green than having that purple color. The leaves of both plants look similar. They have a grayish, silvery underside, This the black raspberry. And when you're making tea, this is what you're going to use. You're actually going to pick the leaves. You can do this with red raspberry as well. They are a little prickly, just so you know. So I would pick this leaf and use a dehydrator or the paper bag drying method and save the leaves for tea. So what are the benefits of this leaf? Why would I want to make tea from this? So the leaves of this, of this plant, the black raspberry and also red raspberry, have um, a nice citrusy kind of flavor, reminiscent of the berries. Not exactly like the berry, but uh, reminiscent, I would say. They both are astringent. And so astringency tightens the tissues, this vitamin C content, that tightens tissues. So it can be very useful for um, the digestive tract, pretty much the entire alimentary tract from your mouth all the way down to the exit point. And so tightening tissues is, it's always good to tighten tissues in the body, um, giving some strength and um, durability. I think rutin is uh, the word coming to my mind that's in vitamin C that gives this this nice kind of tightness firmness to tissue red raspberry tightens uh, uterine tissues or the female organ tissues and so i would venture to say black black raspberry can do something similar not as acclaimed as red raspberry leaf but um, besides enjoying the berry you can enjoy the leaf of this plant and then uh spiritually or uh, metaphysically or in some kind of other healing capacity sitting with black raspberry is really nice it's a nice practice I try to every day get some time to just quiet the mind still the mind they're hard to eat raw much better as tea they're very um, chewy but just sitting with the plant, clearing your mind, and allowing what thoughts come to mind 
that are just like popping into your mind. Sit with your journal and write about what comes to mind. So I'm not going to tell you in this video, but if you check out my description down below after you do that exercise, see what I have written and then compare what you have written. And I guarantee there's going to be some striking similarities. So uh, go outside today, look for some raspberries, look for some berries, pay attention to the leaves and all that this wonderful vine has to offer. Thanks so much and come again.